Among all of Tesla's EVs, when it comes to breaking the laws of physics, nothing comes close to the Tesla Semi. A massive 18-wheeler with a gross vehicle weight of up to 80,000 pounds should, by all logic, be a sluggish machine. That's why the idea of electric trucks has always faced serious doubt in the industry. Even Bill Gates argued that no matter how far battery tech advanced, electric vehicles just wouldn't be practical for heavy-duty transport, whether it's long-haul trucks, cargo ships, or aircraft, because batteries are simply too heavy and take up too much space. But Elon Musk didn't agree. In fact, he bluntly said Gates doesn't understand electric trucks at all. So Musk and Tesla didn't just build an electric truck to prove a point, they set out to build a game changer. Something so compelling that truckers would think twice before leaving their jobs in the middle of America's ongoing driver shortage. And they've done just that. For the first time ever, an electric truck can go 800 miles and has already saved over a million gallons of diesel fuel, translating to around $3.5 million in operating cost savings. That's exactly why Musk calls the Semi a money machine. Now, it's true, the Semi's rollout has been anything but smooth. Announced in 2017, it's taken nearly eight years to reach this point. But here's the good news, mass production is finally ramping up. Tesla aims to deliver around 10,000 units by the end of this year and up to 50,000 by next year. And Giga Nevada's new semi-line is more than capable of hitting those numbers. Stick around, because we're diving deep into how the Tesla semi is gearing up to transform the trucking world. Once written off as a pipe dream, the Tesla semi is now poised to become the most influential Class 8 electric truck on the road. Sure, other players like Volvo, Mercedes-Benz, Daimler, and BYD are in the game, but the Tesla Semi plays in a different league. That's not to say these other trucks aren't well-engineered, but when stacked up against the Semi, they just don't measure up. Let's be clear, the Tesla Semi is the only electric truck right now that can travel 500 miles on a single charge while fully loaded, and hit 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 20 seconds even when carrying 80,000 pounds. Without a load, Tesla says it can go up to 800 miles on a charge. And that's just the beginning. The second-generation Tesla Semi is already in the works, and it promises to be even more aerodynamic, more powerful, and more driver-friendly. Tesla has confirmed some slick upgrades, like redesigned mirrors for improved visibility and a drop-glass feature to make port interactions smoother. These might sound like small changes, but for long-haul truck drivers, they're a big deal. Let's talk about the new production facility. The exterior of Tesla's dedicated semi-factory is nearly complete, and assembly line equipment is steadily being installed. That means full-scale production could begin in just a few months. Elon Musk has stated multiple times that Tesla plans to reach 50,000 units annually starting in 2026. So what gives Musk such confidence? A lot of it comes down to scale. The new facility adds 4 million square feet of manufacturing space, on top of the existing 5.44 million square feet at Giga Nevada. That's enough room to build multiple semi-production lines in parallel. And since the factory also manufactures batteries on-site, there's no delay waiting for battery packs to ship in from elsewhere. Speaking of batteries, Tesla recently announced a big shift, the semi is transitioning away from the current 2170 battery cells. According to Dan Priestley, who heads the semi program, the next-gen trucks will use a new battery referred to as HP, while it's unclear whether HP stands for high power or high voltage, what we do know is that this new pack is cheaper to build and lighter, yet still delivers the same range. How? Thanks to a 7% improvement in efficiency. Originally, many thought the Semi would switch to Tesla's 4680 cells, the same ones used in the Cybertruck, but that's no longer the case. Tesla seems to be reserving 4680 cells for the Cybertruck for now. Still, it's clear that the Semi's battery pack is becoming more specialized, optimized for long-haul applications. 
Manufacturing batteries directly at Giga Nevada gives Tesla a massive edge when it comes to streamlining semi-production. And when you consider that electric drivetrains have far fewer parts than diesel engines, no turbochargers, exhaust systems, or complex transmissions, assembly times drop dramatically. Let's zoom out for a second. Producing 50,000 trucks per year means Tesla will eventually be building more than 135 trucks every single day, that's over 5 per hour, or roughly one semi every 10 to 15 minutes. Sound crazy? Not if you look at Tesla's track record. The Model Y, for example, is now produced at a rate of 1 every 33 seconds. Now, heavy-duty trucks are obviously much larger and require more manual work than a compact SUV. Class 8 trucks like the Semi are complicated machines, often tailored to customer needs with custom axle lengths, suspensions, and configurations. This means full automation isn't cost-effective yet, but Tesla still automates key processes like welding, painting, and installing standard parts. It's a hybrid approach that brings the best of both worlds. If Tesla can pull off the production targets it's laid out, it'll be a huge milestone, not just for the company, but for the entire freight industry. And as Musk once said, it looks like an elephant moving like a cheetah. That's honestly the perfect way to describe the semi. Despite its bulk, it sips energy at just 1.7 kilowatt hours per mile. And guess what? That number holds up in real-world testing. Major customers like PepsiCo, Costco, Walmart, DHL, and SIA have verified this figure during their own trials. In California, 1. 7 kilowatt hours translates to roughly 30 cents per mile in electricity. Compare that to a diesel truck, which burns about $3.51 worth of fuel to cover the same distance. That might seem like a small difference per mile, but multiply it over hundreds of thousands of miles each year, and it quickly adds up. In fact, Tesla's semi-fleet has already saved over 1 million gallons of diesel, worth around $3.5 million. And remember, that's with just 400 semis on the road. Imagine the savings when there are tens of thousands, or even millions. This kind of efficiency is a game-changer, especially for small freight operators and startups. If you're finding this breakdown insightful so far, make sure to hit that subscribe button and help us reach our goal of 1,000 subscribers here at Auto Intel. We've got a lot more high-impact content like this coming your way. Beyond fuel savings, one of the semi's biggest strengths is its minimalist yet incredibly efficient design. No massive diesel engine, no clunky transmission, and far fewer moving parts. Tesla estimates the maintenance cost at just 10 cents per mile. Compare that to a diesel truck, which averages 20 cents per mile. Over 5 years and 100,000 miles per year, that's $50,000 versus $100,000 in upkeep. And it's not just about cost, diesel trucks spend more time in the shop. Oil changes, exhaust repairs, engine overhauls, they all add downtime and disrupt operations. The semi minimizes this by simplifying the drivetrain, reducing maintenance needs, and keeping trucks on the road longer. But the true revolution lies just ahead, full self-driving. Elon Musk has confirmed that FSD will be coming to the Tesla semi in the near future. He's made it clear that driver shortages, fatigue, and the physical toll of the job are growing concerns, and that autonomy is the long-term solution. When FSD rolls out, potentially later this year, the Semi will become the first Class 8 truck with high-level autonomous capabilities. Imagine a truck driving hundreds of miles on its own, while the driver monitors from the seat without gripping the wheel for hours. This could drastically reduce driver fatigue and improve safety on long-haul routes. Of course, Drivers will still be needed to manage things like tight turns and complex traffic, but during highway stretches, the semi could operate almost entirely on its own. It's not just a technical achievement, it's a real solution to the driver shortage crisis. The semi also features regenerative braking that recaptures nearly all the energy used during downhill runs. This extends the vehicle's range and cuts overall energy use, 
especially useful for long hauls through variable terrain. And then there's the driving experience itself. According to PepsiCo drivers, the semi isn't just efficient, it's fun to drive. It's quiet, smooth, and far less tiring than a diesel rig. Many drivers have even said they'd stay in the job just to keep driving the Tesla Semi. Tesla plans to roll the Semi out globally, but not without hurdles. For instance, Australia's current truck size regulations still block the Semi's approval. Efforts to change these laws are ongoing, but they'll take time. In the end, the Tesla Semi represents more than just an electric truck. It's a complete rethinking of freight transport, smarter, cheaper, cleaner, and more driver-friendly. From saving millions in fuel and maintenance to offering FSD and top-tier reliability, the Semi is laying the foundation for the next generation of logistics. So what do you think? Will the cost savings and performance of the Tesla Semi convince the freight industry to move away from diesel? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Auto Intel. Help us hit that 1000 subscriber milestone, your support makes all the difference. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.